Every single day I see more and more companies which say that they are AI company, which means company which uses artificial intelligence. But the main point is that they don't have any artificial intelligence inside their own company, they simply use something like OpenAI. This is why in this video I want to show you how to use OpenAI for your own project, so you can also say that you have a startup or a company with artificial intelligence. So here I registered on the official website openai.com and here we can see some basics regarding how to use API of OpenAI. And the things that we can use here is first of all chat, text completion, embeddings and searching, speech to text recognition, image generation and fine tuning. And the most popular question is obviously how much does it cost, because this is not free. Yes, sure, you are getting a trial, so you can check things out, but after that you need to pay. As you can see here, it says that you only pay for what you use, which essentially means it is the same like for example with AWS, you just pay for the amount of requests that you made. And here you can see that we can use different capabilities and different language models, and depending on that we will have different pricing. I can say that it is relatively cheap, but you need to check it with your own project and budget. Our first step here will be to obtain an API token. This is why here we must jump to our profile here on the right, and here we are clicking on view API keys. And here we want to create a new API key, which is generated. You must save it somewhere, because you can't obtain it again. And here I already prepared for us a small known JS application. So here I have express body parser to parse a body of our API call and here just starting of our application. And here on the top I pasted my API key, so we can use it later. In order to start using OpenAI, we must install a dedicated package. This is why here I want to write npm install OpenAI. Now inside our main JS I want to import two things from OpenAI. First of all it is configuration and secondly OpenAI API and I am requiring them from OpenAI. Now here I want to create our own API for auto-completion. This is what all companies typically are doing, they simply create their own API, where inside they are using OpenAI. This is why here let's create a post request on slash completion. And here we want to write that we have an asynchronous function, where we are getting request, response and next. As we will do asynchronous code inside this function, I want to write try catch, so we are on the safe side. So here is try and catch error, and here we want to just write next error, which will give an error back to express. Now inside our try we want to make an API call to OpenAI. This is why here we want to get our response, and here we are waiting for OpenAI dot, and here we want to use create completion. And now inside we must provide an object with lots of parameters. First of all here we are setting a model. And actually depending on the model it may be more expensive or less expensive. And you can check directly inside the API itself what is the difference between different models. Here I will write text DaVinci001. As you can see here I opened playground and this is exactly where we can do requests, just like we are typing now inside Node.js. And here on the right we can select complete, this is exactly what we are doing now, we are doing completion for the text or text generation. Here is the model and you can check here differences between all models, and we are using here text DaVinci001. After this we must set temperature, max length, penalties and so on. Let's do this now. First of all is temperature 0.4, then maximum tokens. This is not the amount of symbols, as you can see here in the description, one token is roughly for characters in English language. After this we are setting top P to 1, frequency penalty 0 and presence penalty 0. But essentially all this stuff is not that important for us, we are really interested in max tokens and model. And the last thing that we want to provide is the text. What is text? This is what we want to tell AI on which the completion will be based. This is why here I want to add here prompt. And here we want to use a text from our request. This is why here request.body.text. 
which actually means we are making a post request on slash completion and inside we must provide the body with property text and it will be used to make this request. After this I want to write here console log response and I want to look here on response.data this is exactly the response of JSON dot choices and here I want to write zero because this is exactly where inside we will have this text and after this we can write res send and this is what we want to return inside our API and it will be response.data.choices, here is zero, and actually inside we have a property text. Let's look how it works now. As you can see here, I don't have any errors, so let's open a postman and make this request. So as you can see here, I typed localhost 3004 slash completion, and this is a post request, and here inside body we are just providing a text property, and this is the text what I wrote. Write YouTube video title for ChatGPT4 release. And I'm hitting here send and we're making an API call. As you can see here we got an error. OpenAI is not defined. And this is true because here we have configuration OpenAI but not OpenAI property. This is exactly what we must create with this API key. So first of all here what we want to create is our configuration. And here we're calling new configuration which is coming from OpenAI itself. And here we're providing an API key which is exactly this API key which we got from the system. But configuration is not enough after this we must create OpenAI. And we're creating it by calling new OpenAI API and we're providing inside the configuration that we created. And it is important to say that I wrote here OpenAI with small i, it is not correct, it must be big letter i. Let's check if it's working now. I don't have any errors here, let's open Postman and make this request. As you can see now it works and we are getting from our own API this response, ChatGPT4, the ultimate guide to make money with chatbots. This is a really nice clickbait title for a YouTube video. So essentially this is what all companies are doing, they simply create an API and they're using OpenAI inside. Now let's try to generate an image by using OpenAI. And for this I want to create another request, this is why here app post and let's just write here slash image generation. And here again we have an asynchronous function with request, response and next. And inside we also need try and catch, here we're getting an error inside catch and we want to give it back to express through next. Now inside our try we want to get a response and here we are calling now await, open AI again, but now here we are using create image. And inside create image we also must provide our options. So first of all here we will have prompt, this is our text, again request body.text, after this number it is 1 and the size. And here I will write 1024 width and height. Now here I want to console log what we are getting back. So here is our response, response.data. And here what I want to give back is rest send, for example an object with property URL. And here I want to assign our response.data, dot data again, because actually this data is our JSON from the backend, but inside we have a property data which contains our array of images. And here we have just one image, this is why here is zero dot URL, which actually means here we are assigning the URL which we got from OpenAI inside our own API. So here I don't have any errors, let's look inside Postman. So here I have a post request on slash image generation, here is our body with text and here I wrote Harry Potter universe. Now here I am hitting send and we are making a call to OpenAI. As you can see as a response we got an object with URL property and let's open it now. So here is the image that we got and it really looks like an image from Harry Potter universe. And actually if you are interested to know how to use ChatGPT to write React components and create a table with sorting and filtering inside React, make sure to check this video also.